What's up everybody, I'm Shade and this is all you need to know to be able to score every type of free kick in eFootball PES 2021. Just before we begin, keep in mind this is made for normal controls. Starting off with a normal free kick which is just a straight shot at goal that can be done by any player, a decent kicking power stat will increase the chance of scoring. Use this style from close range in a central position. All you need to do is power up the shot, you can optionally hold up on your left stick to add more ball speed. Like I said it's a straight trajectory shot so you're gonna aim right where you wanna put it so just inside of the post and apply 50% power. The Driven aka the low free kick is a low trajectory shot which you can use when anticipating the defensive wall to jump. A decent place kicking stat will increase your chance of success, you can take it from just outside of the box. The controls are lightly tapping the shot button. Aim between two players in the wall, as for power it is minimum because you're just tapping the shot button. The curve free kick is the one you will use the most as it is the most consistent style. In this one you will curl the ball around the wall either on the inside or outside. You'll need a player with good place kicking and curl stats and you can take the curve free kick from central and wide areas of the pitch up to medium range. The controls are, after you power up the shot hold the direction opposite to your player's strong foot. So left for right footers and right for left footers. Aim inside of the third player in the wall or as another reference point place the post on the last player. Use between 50 to 65% power. To curve it around the outside of the wall, aim at or outside of the last player and again 50 to 65% power. Here's the other side, so again for the inside of the wall aim to the inside of the third player or place the post on the last player, then apply 50-65% to power. Now the other side for curving it around the wall as I said aim at or outside of the last player and you already know 50-65% to power. The dipping free kick is a top spin shot that will curl over the wall and come back down. Good place kicking and curl stats will be very useful but the player also requires the dipping shot ability. You can take it from close to medium range in central areas. The controls are powering up the shot and just before the player strikes the ball press or hold the shot button again. Place the post on the last player in the wall and apply around 90% shot power. Just shy of the full power bar if you do fill it up all the way the shot will go over by default. The power free kick, as it sounds from the title, is a powerful shot from far away that rapidly curls around the wall. So you'll need a player with good place kicking, curl and kicking power. Take these from long range. I personally like to use them from wider positions far away. The controls are the same as for curve, after powering up the shot hold the direction opposite of the player's strong foot. Aim outside of the wall and use between 50 to 70% power. Here's the other side, so remember aim outside of the defensive wall and use 50 to 70% power. The knuckleball free kick is the most difficult one of all, it's a shot with no spin that takes an unpredictable and random trajectory. The player you use 
will need good kicking power and place kicking stats as well as the knuckle shot ability. You can attempt the knuckle free kick from long to very long range in central positions. The controls are the same as for the dipping free kick, powering up a shot and then tapping or holding the shot button again before the player strikes the ball. Aim at the second player in the wall or place the post on the last player's head. Use between 70 to 80% power. Next up the tree vela free kick which is curling the ball using the outside of the foot. The player will need good place kicking and curl stats and if you want to take it from even farther out they will also require good kicking power. The player also needs the outside curler ability. You can use the tree vela from the same positions as the curve free kick which is central or wide areas from short to medium range. The controls for this one are the opposite of the curve free kick. Namely, powering up the shot and then holding the left stick towards the direction of the player's strong foot. Aim between the last two outside players in the wall or place the post on the second to last player's head and apply 50 to 65% power. Here's the other side with the left footer, so just like before, aim between the last two outside players or place the post on the second to last player's head and apply 50 to 65% power. The second man free kick is shooting with the layoff player. You can use any style I've shown you earlier so the stats and abilities required depend on the style that you choose. You can take it from anywhere granted you use the style appropriate for the position and distance. The controls are holding LT or L2 and taking any direct free kick for this example I'm going to be using curved free kick. So aim depending on the style you choose. Again I'm using curve so if you remember with that one we place the post on the last player and apply 50 to 65% power. The final one is the trick free kick where we fake a shot with the first player and then we execute the free kick with the second player. Just like the one before, the requirements will depend on the style that you choose, the position and distance will as well. The controls are holding LT or L2 and fake shotting with the layoff player after which you can take any direct free kick with the remaining player. For this example, I will again be using the curve free kick so we aim at the last player and apply 50 to 65% power. Now I will quickly go through the indirect free kick styles beginning with the layoff pass. To do it with the layoff player, hold L1, L2 and pass or LB, LT and pass. To lay it off with the main taker, hold L1 and pass or LB and pass. Perform the off the ball indirect free kick hold L1 or LB and select the player you want to receive the ball with the right stick. Then pass it to him either using the short pass or cross button. That's it guys, all direct and indirect free kicks covered. I hope this really helped, leave a like and a comment if it did. But for now, I've been Shade, thank you for watching, goodbye.